You look like a Christmas tree together. <laughs> Should I take it off? <laughs> no, I can leave it on if you want. Uniqlo gang. <laughs> What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidigo Vibes here and welcome to another video. I'm with my boy Riyad today and we're gonna do Vibes Rates Your Fits. Now, um, we realized on camera it would look like a Christmas tree. It would look like a bit of Christmas vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like Uniqlo gang. But um, yeah, let's see it. Um, we'll get into this video and yeah, you guys posted on uh, Vibes Rachel Fits, the thread, which I post on Underground Fits. Um, and yeah, we got a really, really good response. What do you think of the fits on the thread? Real good, actually. A yeah. lot better from last time. Yeah. I mean, there's still that one percent is not in a good way. <laughs> Um, you guys will see soon. Yeah, it was really hard to like pick. It was like a very, there was so much different styling within every single fit. And it was hard to pick like a handful of like good fits. And then obviously like the one percenters, which like need a bit of help, I yeah. guess. But um, yeah, just before we get into it, if we go hard, just it's just banter. Like we don't mean this. Don't <laughs> take it with a grain of salt if you want to. You can take our advice if you want. You don't have to. So yeah. Um, you can start with the first fit if you want. Yeah, all right, yeah, sweet, bro. first one and then we'll suss from here. So, my first one is gonna be Adrian Hilton's fit. Oh, uh, my boy. Man is just a master. Man is literally, dude, like, inspo big time. Like, man inspo. It's, he's got the baggy trousers, you know, and then he's got, like, that, sw um, the JW Anderson sweater. Yeah. Which is real hard. Um, I think they're ND trousers as well, or the boots. And the, I think they're Andy shoes. Yeah. Yeah. But the Andy shoes is just like something contemporary. And then you have the mix of the, the pleats, the double pleats actually. There's a lot more of the 70s type. Yeah. And then you've got like the striped trousers. And uh, striped shirt. Yeah. Well. And I think yeah. the white tee just kind of breaks up a little bit. Yeah, like, for sure. Just, yeah. Yeah. I like how he didn't wear it zipped up. A lot of people do. And that's what kind of ruined JW for me. <laughs> I mean, it's so common that you see people zip up and just wear like five different layers. Yeah, they got the zip up or they wear that, um, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a mock neck, but it's just the neck part yeah, of the like JW. People trying to be like, you're a murder trying to layer shit. Yeah. But it doesn't work that way. But um, the colors on that top is insane. The trousers yeah. fit sick. Like, I mean, amazing. I'm not, not going to lie, man's got really good proportions. Oh like, yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, I agree. Look how fucking small his waist yeah. is. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is real nice, man. Um, I don't really find any flaws with it. No, nah, man, it's like... <laughs> I can't like I yeah. don't see like any jewelry or anything, but I feel like you don't need to in that case because no, no, it's does it's not needed. Yeah, it's just clean and simple, yeah. nothing crazy. But that loud print from JW is just sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you no. gonna give it? Solid like nine. I want to go nine as well. Yeah. It's like hard. Like if I, don't, if... I love Adrian's style, and I'll, ha I'll leave everyone's Instagram as well. So this is one guy I definitely look up to in terms of styling because. He's like Riyadh said, his proportions are insane. He just fits everything so well. It's um, yeah. So nine from both of us, Adrian. Well fucking done. <laughs> Zandon Dallas, and he has a Supreme, it's actually Supreme T. I didn't even know that till now. Uh, it's white T Supreme, Gucci waist, waist bag, like fanny pack, uh, needle track pants and off white blazers. I am not gonna lie. This is actually a great example of wearing something really hype beast with like the Gucci fanny pack and For wearing sure. it not too bad. Like, yeah, it's off white, like off white Nike, hype beast is shit. The Gucci is hype beast as fuck. <laughs> the Supreme T I didn't even know is Supreme, which is like Supreme hype beast, but it yeah. doesn't look hype beast at all. The needle track pants are freaking sick. I love needles so much. And yeah. It actually really surprised me how well this foot, this fit was put together. Yeah. Like, what do you yeah. think? Definitely real nice. I mean, the only thing I'd probably switch is just the bag. I think yeah. it's a bit too big for it's, his proportion. Yeah, like I think um, one person was saying like it's a little bit too high. So it looks like you're kind of like suffocating. So maybe it feels like a little bit lower, more like centered throughout your body would have like you know, done justice. But you can tell in a way that he's trying to go with the trend of wearing your um, waist bag in the front. Yeah. But with a bag that big, you'd definitely want to wear it at the back. I think it's a lot more cooler, it's mm -hmm. a lot more steezier. Yeah. In that sense. Um, real nice pieces. I mean, nothing that I'd wear personally, mm -hmm. but proportions wise, he gets it right right there. Yeah. Real nice. Um, um, I like the fit of the track pants. The needles, your needles pants actually fit you really well. And I like how it's not tucked into the blazer or anything. It just flows right on top of it. So the off-white blazer actually is like semi-low key. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's really nice. And I didn't know that was Supreme. 
I'm really shocked that that's Supreme. Can't see no box logo. That's Can't cool. see no box logo. <laughs> which, yeah, interesting. Um, I'll give it probably a solid eight. I think yeah, about an eight. What do you think? Uh, probably a seven. Yeah. I mean, that's just taking into account the bag. You know, mm. so I don't really like it or. Yeah. Oh, I personally wouldn't wear it, but I can appreciate how like. Yeah, it's so high beast, but it's like so not at the same time. It's like no, no, it's well, weird. Honestly, if the bag was different, I'd wear that for myself. Yeah, exactly. If it wasn't like a Gucci bag, which like is like so much like branded right upon it, it actually would be a lot low key and a lot nicer. So. I mean, if it was to wear an undercover bag, it'd be like I saw a lot of people wear that in Japan. That yeah. look, which is real cool. Yeah, and that's like undercover pairing with like needles, like both Japanese related brands exactly. goes well. Yeah. Uh, is that Kevin? Yeah, I think it's okay, Kevin. Cool. I can't remember his last name. Though. But I'm not gonna say your last name because it's a bit too hard to pronounce. Yeah. Um, this is real nice. It's clean fit, dude. So you got Prada shirt from Spring Summer 17. No. It was like one of the like collab ones or whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what pants they are. And then he's got the Dior Derby's with yeah. the toes, the one yeah. that Rocky wore. Well, I think it's yeah. a. But um, yeah. proportions wise, because that's something we always look for first. Really good. Um. Ooh. Oh wait, I don't know about how cropped they are though. The pants? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they would be nicer with because he's more so a more dressier approach. Yeah. 100%. And the crop is just a bit too. Nice it's too dressy. casual to too be. Casual. Yeah. 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 To be like an ele- like an eloquent like an sorry like an elegant fit that makes like, yeah, sense yeah exactly um, and like say for example if this was Adrian Hilton oh a different his, story with his damn like real nice <laughs> double pleated pants you know what I mean yeah so like, if you swap those pants for this fit it'd do it a lot more justice yeah oh, well maybe not as flared and not as wide mm, but but still like semi tapered to an extent yeah, yeah yeah just perfectly proportioned yeah um, I don't know if it's buttoned up all the way though yeah you know you know what like in that sense, if he was going to stick with everything he's wearing, mm. I would have taken out the socks, just wear like no show socks. Mm-hmm. Then I would have unbuttoned the shirt and wear a white shirt under. And then you'd go from like such a like classier vibe to more casual and yeah. have like get rid of the socks, open tee, the way like a white tee tucked in and then open Prada shirt would have been like completely different. Yeah, it would have been so nice. Mm. Um, Yeah, what do you think for rates? Uh, Give it about a seven and a half. I'll go with a seven and a half as well. I think like the pieces, individual pieces are sick, but I think maybe if you went like, cl- like more casual look, that will look even like way better or just longer pants or like a little bit tapered at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. Um, next up, we've got one from Josh Pohl. Pohl, apologies bro. Uh, I've got Vetamon green cropped hoodie, which is like the champion like version. No, they did like the champion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Burberry trousers and the Gucci snake Prince Town fur Prince Towns. Um, I know Riyadh's not gonna like this, but I like this. I like it. You like it? <laughs> yeah, I like the way he's used green throughout the fit. Yeah. Like, it's not because when you have such like loud colors like that, it's very hard to have like an all like if I was to wear red this and then red trousers look dumb. Yeah. But like he's got like very subtle green kind of like tartan trousers from Burberry, yeah. the green hoodie from Vetamont. But the only thing that I would have changed is not to have the embroidery from the snake. Mm, definitely. I think that's like very overkill. Maybe even like regular Prince Towns without the um, embroidery and without the fur would have changed like this fit a lot better. Would have made it a lot better, apologies. It's actually not bad. I mean, you've come a long way from that really big post that blew up where he's wearing all that hypey shit. And I remember I just gave you all the criticism you had. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which fit it was. He was like wearing like a puffer jacket and like it was just like all these crazy bands mm. all clashing, yeah. clashing. Yeah. And um, yeah, I gave him like criticism telling him like, you know, just a bit more low key. So mm. I appreciate that you've changed like your whole look and it looks so much better now. Yeah. Um, in but- terms of this fit though, I'm not too sure. I really like the trousers, uh, the slippers. I see why you wear them. They're slippers. nice. I mean, slippers, sorry. What are they? Slip ones. I mean, whatever the fuck they are. But I mean, it's good and stuff. Like the fur and the embroidery is overkill. It's like kind of clashing. Yeah. With like the obviously vet mont look. But the hoodie is freaking fire. I love that hoodie. Like the way it fits on him, super like crops, but not too crops. I reckon it's sick. It angled though. I mean, it looks 
Looks like man's belly button's about to like pop off. Yeah, that too. Because I'm looking like low key see your white teeth tucked in. Yeah, which know. might be a bit overkill. It would have well. been. It would have been nicer. Maybe it was the angle. Like mm. maybe if you were taking a photo like straight on, uh, you would have seen how flowy the actual hoodie is. I'm I'm not a fan of the hoodie at all. I mean, but that's my opinion. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but Dugo likes it. And like every, everyone's different, dude. So <laughs> yeah. like, but yeah. Um, I said seven. I think. What do you think? Uh, I give it a six and a half. Okay, yeah. fair enough. All right. Not bad, all man. Like you've improved a lot. Yeah. From definitely. Uh, we've got a fit from Alias, and he is wearing a SLP. Uh, was a blood teeth tee or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. I don't know. SLP tee, Subi denim, and then SLP Wyatt's. Yeah. SLP yes. Wyatt's. Uh, harness Wyatt's in the camel color. Tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. Tobacco. yeah. Um. What do you? Th- oh, all right, I'll see what I think. You gotta go first, right? Okay. Um, the fit of the jeans. I saw someone say like they need to be tapered more. I think they're fucking fine. Um, we were discussing about this before me and Riyad. Um, he was saying that that maybe if a bit more stacks would have looked nice. Post, I reckon a bit more stacks would be nice, but I like the way they still look because I personally don't like a lot of stacks. Mm. Like especially with me, as I have like really big thighs, I tend to just go like straight cut and then taper a little bit, and that's it. Not many stacks. Um. The tobacco whites look dope. I fucking love that. Yeah. But I don't think that the black... I had this similar problem in my last video. Mm. How I had like... Um, I was like clashing colors with my Hawaiian shirt. The double rainbow. Maybe like a white teen step would have like changed the outfit. Oh, yeah. I don't know for sure. Black kind of clashes a bit. But I'm not a fan of like the SLP graphic tees. Like, it's like very overpriced branding. That's just what I think. Um, but overall, it's not bad. Right. It's it's not bad at all. I mean, like, I would wear everything except for the pants. I like the t-shirt. Mm. It's nice. Um, so a bit more of a clash, actually. Yeah. So maybe look into um, a more of an indigo pair of denim. In that sense, like, yeah. it really does stay to that, like, um, really does stay to the black shirt. Yeah. Like even like gray, like a gray pair of denim from SLP or something like yeah. that. Not so. It's like jet black. But so you have like a different variety of colors in black, yeah. like black, gray, and the tobacco will look yeah. nice. But one other thing that me and Verdugo were talking about, or I was talking, I brought you, up to Verdugo, yeah. <laughs> was the stance, like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, let me see, it's so weird. I mean, okay, I'll forget the photo, I'll forget the angle that it's horrible and whatnot. Okay. But the stance is yeah. just like... Stance is so easy to pull off. I mean, important. when you wear clothes like this, when you invest into clothes like this, you want to look like the coolest you can. You That's know? literally the point of what people do nowadays. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But in that sense, like, if, when you do a pose like this, it doesn't look like you have as much steez. You know what yeah. I mean? it's, like, it's not easy. It's not like, it's a bit, you're trying a bit too hard. To yeah, you look like a little bit too uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, yeah. You could honestly sit down on the sofa, take a nice picture, and it look, way better and you look a lot more calm you know i think overall I, like ah uh, we like a seven a seven i call it a seven i'd give it a six just because of the jeans like okay fair I, don't, I don't really what about like the rip do you like the ripped knees i never liked ripped knees but i don't mind it in that look with like it, wyatt's and stuff he's re- he really is going for that slp look yeah you and he's got I mean? the body for it too like yeah, yeah props for sure. to him bro yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. the one from josh drew wet um balenciaga campaign hat YSL, I don't know if he's referring to the denim jacket or the shirt. I would assume it's a shirt because it's like, I don't know. Uh, Subi denim and Me. Yeezy 350 V2 in the mm. whatever colorway that is. Maybe he's wearing both Balenciaga, like cap and denim jacket. Oh, it could be. I mean, yeah. That's a very, that's been a very popular thing. Recently. Yeah. That's fucking overkill, but I can't <coughs> lie. Like campaign hat and campaign jacket. That's fucking overkill. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah. What do you What do you think of this? I, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know. I know you don't like it. <laughs> I I don't like it as well. I mean, but in saying so, I think only Bernard is the only person that could wear that hat and actually look cute. <laughs> um, jeans. The jeans with way, the Yeezys is the clash. Way too tight as yeah, well. Like, They're tight as shit, and the Yeezy just no. Like, all right, maybe if you if you didn't want to, like, if you really wanted to wear these Yeezys, maybe like the Calabasas sweats or something like casual as shit. Even the Calabasas is a bit too chunky. Yeah. Way too chunky. I mean, yeah. with a fit like that, you'd wear Wyatt's and they'll look so nice. Yeah, wear that's true. Chelsea boots. Yeah. Automatically look so nice. It's just so much of a clash. If you're mm. going to wear that exact fit, 
wear maybe trousers. That yeah, are a that's bit true. wider. Yeah, I mean, or cropped. Yeah, cropped trousers would be nice. Not too nice cropped. We're like that Kevin guy wore, but like cropped enough. I, I remember I had Sufis that tight too. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I can't forget that. <laughs> oh, but man had, got roasted. I had the Subies that tight as well. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. not as tight. I still had like a f fair few stacks. And I'd mm. make sure like it'd be versed. When I when I pick out a pair of pants, I'd always make sure how versatile it is in my wardrobe. I'm sure. But like, not, obviously it's sized up in the jeans, but yeah. I'll give this like a, I'll give this like fucking five. Yeah. Uh, five. Or, yeah, yeah I, uh, five. it's cool, but... So it's like five. Balenciaga flex and then Yeezy flex. It's just, yeah. it's too high beastie for me, bro. Yeah, for sure. Apologies. All right, next fit we're going from Connor, and he is wearing. You know what? You can do it because this is this is literally you in a nutshell. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, but oh, yeah, it is to an like, extent. Like, if I had that body, yes, yeah, of course, like, for sure. Um, helmet layering, autumn, winter, 03, uncut, faith, hope, charity shirt. Um, helmet layering, autumn, winter, 03, backstrap blazer, and the aviator pants from 03 as well. Same same season, autumn, winter. Dior 08 bondage boots. My God, this is it's crazy. This is nice. good. And like, all right. First up, the way the photo is taken. Yeah, fucking sick. Like, like Elias, sick. take note. Like, if you want to show your inseams, do something like this. You know yeah, take I mean? it from the back, maybe if you really yeah. wanted to. But like the way he's like the aviator. This is, what is the aviator blazer and pants? Yeah. Um, he had the aviator pants yeah, and the backstrap back blazer. Yeah. So it's like very intricate at the back with the straps on the sleeve and yeah, the back and sure. the pants. Yeah. Really trying to show that off from the back, which is just, yeah, so nice, man. Um, the, so sick. The only thing that I might see is a bit clashing, and this is something Michelle picked up because I was speaking to her about the fits. Yeah. She said that the shoes are a bit more too. They're um, too bulky. Too bulky. Yeah. Because yeah. you can see like the sit the the actual <laughs> the pants is hands like stretching are, out. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like being forced onto that like actual pair of boots yeah. I think they do I mean if you do want to go for that full helmet lang aesthetic in that sense wear something a bit more minimalistic on your footwear mm. for your footwear sorry um, I know that helmet also did some lace up shoes back in 04 and it, like from 99 to 04 he did lace up shoes that were really predominant in his shows mm -hmm. because he did want to um, he did want to bridge the gap between I guess like fashion and bring it into corporate so he always interpreted like suits and then wore it with a bummer on top or wore it with his yeah parkers and that's kind of gives off the same like vibe because you usually see straps like that on a bummer yeah and then seen on a blazer even the way he's wearing his shirt is insane like i like yeah. that you know like i thought that was cool he had it like untucked um, i mean unbuttoned. unbuttoned at the top here yeah unbuttoned yeah. at the top and that was just real like you've you've managed to capture what helmet lang was trying to yeah what Hummelang was trying to construct this whole mm -hmm. time and that's real cool i respect it so much overall I'll give this an eight and a half i just think the way the photo is taken the way the pieces mm -hmm. just blend so well together yeah. it's perfect this is like a, the boots this is this is this is a nine for me yeah. i mean i really liked it when i saw it i was like holy shit i can't wait to talk <laughs> about it and then if you change the boots would it have been an instant 10. oh yeah for sure <laughs> all right and last but not least we're gonna you know Last fit, but it's gonna be a sick fit. We've gone from Jason. He's wearing Wise for Men by Yoji. I'm assuming that's the um, the blazer slash sure. trench, yeah. Um, and wife, wife, Yoji, um, pure home. Oh, okay, okay. For the pants and and D, Nutellas. Yeah. Fuck. This is like. This is what I aspire to be if I could afford Yoji, to be honest with you. Yoji's not that bad, bro. Bro, Yoji you main, Japan, like, yeah. You'll see true. how that's cheap true. Yoji is. Yeah. Because yeah. you see, like, the mainline stuff now at Farfetch. That shit's so expensive, yeah, it is. bro. It's like 3K. Bro. Yeah. But look how high the trousers are. Just, like, nice high waisted trouser. Mm. Nice. So wide and then just cuffed slightly with the boots. Yeah. Fuck. It's. Real nice, actually. Like, and he's taking the effort to edit because I can know this is like edited and having like that nice gray kind of texture in the background with the plants and like yeah. all black fit, but the textures on this and materials, fuck. Mm. I love how he stuck to the um, Japanese nature of Yoji being 
wearing things really baggy yeah but proportionate yeah and still very like that high waisted kind of look yeah. that the OG always does and then the blazer yeah yeah the black tee amazing black tees and nice um the cuffs maybe i would have not cuffed it up that high mm. uh and like it looks a bit messy the cuff so maybe i fixed that but that's the only fault i could find in this whole fit yeah um, the thing that I really love about the Andy Vitellos is that they have a couple of iterations with the lug sole, with the flat sole, mm -hmm. and he's got the lug sole version where it's got like a nice heel on it. Yeah. If you can see there. And boy oh boy, this is an amazing boot. So, so nice. God damn. Like, Nemo boots in my life, dude. The paneling of the boots, like how you have, it's, it's very reminiscent of like um, Dior as well mm -hmm. in the Heady Slam Army. Yeah, that is someone era for Dior. Real nice. Back um, on those, around like the 07 era. Yeah, Dior. 07, yeah. yeah. You know, he had the motor boots as well, so it's like real nice paneling. What really interests me is the how high waisted it is, but at the same time, how loose up it is on the actual like waist. Mm -hmm. Like you can tell over there. That's real cool because it's a very Japanese, like kind of reminds you of like Naruto. Yeah, because like, you watch that Naruto like, type shit. Yeah. yeah, Sasuke when he's doing like, when he's got that second fit in in Shippuden. Okay. Real nice. Real cool. And he's got the belt. Like a, the lace belt going. Okay. On. Yeah. I'll put a photo so you guys can see what he's talking about. Because I've yeah. no fucking idea. I don't watch yeah. Naruto. But yeah, definitely so Japanese inspired fit. And I just yeah. love that style so much. This for me is like, I don't, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a nine. Yeah. I'm going to say nine and a half. But I just, not, not, you know what I'm saying? I'm going. Is like, actually, it's like always perfect. Like, yeah. Like you said, like the cuff, that's probably the only thing where I'm still gonna give you a nine so, for it. It's, it's a really messy cuff, like, mm. man, just like, ooh, let me try to cuff it up. Cuff it before the photo, but other than that, dude, yeah. definitely a solid nine. Mm. So what do you mm. think, nine? Yeah, definitely a nine, nine. for sure. 100%. I mean, 9.5. Okay, fair enough. Nine, to, nine and a nine and a half, dude. We ended off on a good note. Yeah. And that concludes this episode of Vibes Ratio Fits. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, Hit that subscribe button, join the gang. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if I didn't say that already. Um, and yeah, thank you, Riyadh, for coming by. Thank you very much, Baduga. Nah, that's all right, man. It's all yeah. good. I uh, appreciate everyone that commented on the thread, dude. It really means a lot. Like, I was saying in my last video, like, I was so uninspired and just, like, just seeps nowadays. But seeing all these outfits and seeing different styles really, like, encourages me to just get out of my comfort zone, bro. Like, yeah. I would love to wear something like that if I had these pieces, man. Yeah, for sure. Like, that outfit, like, this last one, is just absolutely crazy. And, like, throughout the video, mm. some beautiful, beautiful fits. Yeah. But a yeah. lot of people have improved. I mean, I'm really sorry to some of the people that are roasted. Like, I only say it in hopes that, you know, you end up bettering yourself. Yeah. So, with all that being said, if you want to go ahead and join the gang, hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video, which is just mixed over there somewhere. And then what we wore recently. Yeah, there you go. And Man, then... look so skinny. <laughs> Get onto it, guys. Keto gains, boy. Keto gains. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video on Vidigo Vibes. We're out. Bye. Peace.